This is code.org. Let's see what we got going on. Adding lives. You can add a variable that keeps track of how many lives the player has. Oh, good. And in the game, if the player runs out. Perfect. Create a variable such as a lives lives and give it a starting value of three that would make sense three is kind of standard draw text to the screen to show the label lives and the values of lives okay let me hit that x we know it's going to save across so we want a variable named lives so okay i went ahead to variables i'm going to grab var and i want var x equals blank and what do i want well i'm creating a variable right this is something that will represent a number and what is it going to be? It's going to be the word lives is going to be our variable. And what will it be equal to? Well, start it at three. Got it. Draw text to the screen to show the label lives and the value of lives. Okay. Well, that's a bit more complicated. Draw text to the screen. So let's go see what happens here. We have score already. So if we're successfully drawing the score, let's go take a look at that and background draw background background show score look we even have a function for show score i'm going to go take a peek at that then background show score so what happens here well it looks like that we have a fill white okay so when we run the show score function and we call it remember when we say a function's name we're asking the computer to find it and run it so we say show score in the draw loop the computer says what's show score uh, smack runs the code inside and then goes back up here and continues running whatever's left okay so did it go past now what happens we fill it with white text the text size should be 20 this word score hmm and then the variable must be there notice it's zero right now well let's double check what's going on up here oh look score is equal to zero so that must be the number now there's a distinction here if i look at the word score Right here, it's in quotes. So let's say I put, I don't know, I'm going to put an exclamation point twice. Notice it shows up, and that is because this is a string. This is the word score. It is in quotes. This represents our variable. So this is where the actual points we have is showing up. That's where the number is. And I can prove it, too, because what if I just start us with a 12 points? Boom, right away. It changes. Huh, my surprise background. So. Great. Now that we know how the score is getting drawn, let's go ahead and make sure that the lives are. And I'm going to model it after this, so I'm going to put a function, well, right under it. It's just easier to see, I think. I'll creatively call it show lives. And drawing. I'll make sure, too, that the background color is white, I guess. I mean, you can have it be whatever you want. Uh, lives. And then the text size. I'm going to keep my the same. That's not... And you need text size, by the way, and this fill white above your words. Text size will be the same because if you have it below, the computer will write the word, but then decide, then realize I need text of 20. I can show you what I mean. I want this to say lives and let's check real quick. Can't even see it right now. Oh, because I'm not running my function. I never asked the computer to run this function, right? Just because I create a function doesn't mean it will ever, 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 ever run it. So I guess I'll put it under show score in the draw loop. Let me go to functions. And that writing it here, show score, or, you know, I could pull it up here or whatever. That means this is going to ask that function to run. And so show score and it says, what's that? Smack. Can I just write show score? <laughs> oh, boys. show not show score show lives thanks we could even put the code directly in here but uh show lives white 20 the word lives okay and then this will now hopefully draw just the word lives not in the right spot but we're getting there we have two options we could put it under the word score or over on the side of the screen i don't want to block the sun so this should be if i go to drawing and text yep x and y locations so let me look where score is located okay it's x is 10 and so i'll probably do mine like that i'm going to switch to text mode i'll put mine at 10 now why i want it further down because i want it to be underneath so i don't really don't know maybe 35 not far enough looking a bit better maybe i'll set over 45 cool 
And I might even do a colon and be fancy like them. All right, let me hit reset. Now we need it to print our variable as well. So I'm gonna follow this lead, right? To print a variable, we just need to ask it to without quotes around it. There's another way we could do this, but also we could hit, if we wanted to, we could use a plus sign. And so we say, yeah, print that string plus lives, because that's the name of my, boom, that's the name of the variable, right? So, and it's not in quotes. I'm gonna do it the way I did earlier, which is the other way. And it's a bit easier to understand when we're first learning. So I'm gonna use another text block and do lives, not in quotes. It sometimes will fight you to delete these quotes if you're in block mode, just to be aware. And I have no idea, maybe 50, Let's show my blocks. 50 is not enough. That's looking a bit better, maybe even 70. Okay, now what? I bet we have to make it work. Check for the player's X and Y position to be off the screen and subtract one from the score. Oh no, check the player's Y position. Yes, so if the player has a Y position greater than 400, right? Notice what Y is way down here, it's 388. If it's greater than 400, they're off the screen. So where could we check that? Well, I'm gonna just do it right in the draw loop, honestly. We could also do it in other parts of this. Maybe player fall could make sense to you. I might do it in there, let's see. Player lands, player fall. Oh, and this is forcing the player down. I'm gonna do it right in the actual draw loop. So if player dot wise less, nope, greater than 400. So if the player's y value is greater than 400, this is true. And what would we wanna do? Well, we're gonna to say our score, our, our lives, will be equal to whatever lives used to be equal to minus one. And this will only happen, we'll only take one from lives if the player has fallen below 400. But what's odd about that is they would just keep going down, 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 down. So let's see here. Check for the player's Y position to be off the screen and subtract from the score. Perfect, so we were um, supposed to, yes. So when they go off the screen, and they stay off of it, we should set, have the player show the end of game screen. Extra, check for lives being zero. That's pretty easy, right? So right now I have, if the player's off the screen, take one away from lives. Now I'll go ahead and set the lives to uh, the end screen. So I need another conditional. If lives, and instead of doing zero, it says check for li zero lives left. I'm just gonna do less than one. Because at any point, if it's less than one, we're gonna go ahead and show the game screen. Because if I do equal to zero, only the exact moment lives is zero, and if they keep falling, it will be less than zero. So, and then in screen, and we can do that, thankfully, we have a handy. Uh, we, have, we have a handy function, or we can change the sprite. So I'll go ahead and do the, well, let's see, do I have, I can make one of my backgrounds, the game in background, but I'll go ahead and take their suggestion up on a sprite. And the sprite I'll use, I don't know, let's do, wait, I'm doing an alien, let's just change their alien color. This one, and that will be the loss alien. So now we just need to do a set animation. And mine's this. So I'm gonna let myself die, obviously. Ah, oh, and it changed. Notice how fast it goes. What would be really cool is if I reset the X, the Y value of the alien. So subtract score by one. I don't think they mean one from the score. I think they would mean one from lives. But then what we could also do is set the Y of the player back to the default. That way it just doesn't go down forever. Or maybe even back to the top of the screen. So once they lose a life, I might do player.y equals, and I know the top of the screen is going to be zero Y. So I'll have them fall from the top again. And now 
they get a bit of a chance not to keep dying. Pretty cool. Onward.